Some Maui residents are sounding off against Governor Josh Green's decision to reopen Lahaina to tourists on October 8th. Others argue there's a real need for more visitors so their struggling businesses can survive. KITV4's Ali Duclo is on Maui and has the arguments from both sides. An online petition has amassed more than 5,000 signatures so far. The concern here is that working class families feel they haven't been consulted enough before the decision was made. It's inspiring that these people came out um, on the petition and showed what they really, really feel. It appears many in West Maui are split on the decision announced by Governor Josh Green to allow tourists back into the area. Emma Scheib owns this gift shop in Honokawai. She's in dire need of more visitors to shop and buy her merchandise and says so many other business owners on the west side are also in need of help. It's sad because I have my grandson, my the daughter, my granddaughter and my niece. We lost, they lost all their home. Total of my families have lost about 11 homes. Shite mentioned some of the tourists she has encountered lately have been rude. They expect discounts because of the island's dismal economic conditions. Others argue now is the time to reassess and reshape Hawaii's tourism industry as a whole. A lot of people feel that they're ready to um, see some major change, maybe get some ag back in Lahaina, maybe um, do something a little different than tourism. We've seen our, our crash in um, uh, COVID times and we're seeing it again. The governor's office told us the decision to reopen West Maui to tourism on October 8th was made after weeks of meetings and conversations with a broad spectrum of stakeholders within the Lahaina community that included hundreds of working class families and small businesses devastated by the wildfire. There have been claims that the decision to reopen on October 8th was made after a closed meeting with executives at the Ritz-Carlton Kapalua. The governor's office, however, denies such claims. Reporting from West Maui, Aali Iduklo, KITV4 Island News.